Welcome back to Metroid Dread. It's so dreadful that we're all here again, isn't it? Ah! I know. All right, well, uh, let's take a quick look at the map here. Just a quick look. Yeah, where are we heading? Where are we heading? Hmm. Uh... Hmm. Uh, I think that's a pretty good place to start. We'll do that. Yeah, we'll head up the elevator. It'll be fine. Yeah. It's like right here. It's fine. Oh, I thought we weren't going to be able to go on the elevator. <gasps> Gavaran! 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 Gavaran? He heading over to Gavin. Who names it Gavin? Who names any of these areas anything? Well, as we explore this new area, I should probably uh, speak a little bit about my latest obsession. What is your latest obsession? So this past week, uh, AGDQ 2022 was on. It's a speedrunning charity marathon. It goes in for like an entire week, and it's just you know a week of great fun and great runs and raising a lot of money. So uh, every year that they that they do this, I, I often find a new game to walk away from. You know, it's like, oh wow, I didn't, I didn't hear, I didn't know about that. That's great. You know, it, that's how I got into Hollow Knight. That's how I, uh, you know, just. It, it, it would have been Shikari this year if I hadn't already played that and loved and enjoyed that. Well, this year it was Castlevania. Because I was looking at Ori in the Blind Forest and I realized, man, it's just, you know, in terms of Metroidvania, it just doesn't interest me, you know? Am I... am, am, am I wrong in that? Mmm... to each their own. It just doesn't look like it's for me. It, it's... Uh, I don't know. It definitely plays like a Metroidvania, you can't get past that. So I figured, well, okay, why not go ahead and try the second part of the Metroid in Metroidvania? I'll do... I'll play some Castlevania. And luckily, Konami, out of nowhere, released all these anniversary collections. Recently, they did the Castlevania Advance Collection. And, uh... The Advance Castlevanias are really the only kind of Castlevania that I had any, any kind of experience with. I didn't play a lot of Castlevania. So all I played was Circle of the Moon, and that was it. And that was really hard and dumb, and I couldn't do anything with it. Uh, I played, like, an hour of Symphony of the Night, but this is before I really got into Dark Souls and explorative games, and I was like, oh, I don't get it, I'm lost, it sucks. And Lords of Shadow, which isn't even a Castlevania game, it's a God of War game. So I've been playing a lot of, uh... Circle the Moon, you know, I, I, I played that, was great, and then, then I played a lot more of that. Then I had to get the Anniversary Collection, which was basically all the older Castlevania games. It's uh, 1 through 4, and the Game Boy games, and a couple of other side games. So I'm a little obsessed. Uh, yeah, you're, you may be burnt out of Castlevania by the time this playthrough is over. Like, this particular playthrough is over. I'll give you an update later, but for right now, I am I am hard in hunting me some Draculas. <laughs> that, I'm oh, not liking how uh, this is going. Yep. Oh, that's it. Aha! Oh, wow, you actually got it! Fuck! And then ran right and into I, it. And I ruined my advantage! This isn't Dracula, pay attention! I, I know! I, I actually shoot in this game. We're, we're not hunting! Ah! Ah! That was a I great shot! I almost jumped right into it! Who are you, me? <laughs> I'm normally the one that panic jumps into gunfire. Come on, come on, I got you. Got his number? I got your number. Oh, yeah! oh my god, how the fuck? How in the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Never! I'm good, would I, man! Would I ever have this luck? I'm What luck? I'm good! Never would I have this skill to be able to kill that <laughs> thing. And now there's like 10, 10 million things up there. It's okay, it's okay. So uh, I want to go back to the uh, Castlevania conversation. Go ahead. Be because uh, go last ahead. year I decided it would be a great idea to try to play uh, Super Castlevania 4 legitimately on a cartridge. And uh, within about... Oh, on a cartridge? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Super Castlevania 4 on cartridge with the Super Nintendo controller. It was a great time until it wasn't. And uh, The enemies are still off, and here's where another one would be. Yeah, it's great. Uh, it's not great. It's bad. It's awful. It's... Terrible. What do you mean? It's just chilling there. Uh, d uh, d S Samus, I think we should go and kill it right then. But it, you know, it's in the background. She she's on a very uh, she's she's set in her ways, you know. Mm -hmm. I can only kill things if it's attacking me first. But uh, yeah, let me tell you, I was playing it on a essentially a glorified emulator, and uh, as soon as it got too hard for me, as in it wouldn't be entertaining to. That means you played it on the Retron Five. Yes, I did. 
uh, about level four is when uh, when I was like, okay, we're not going to go back to the beginning of the level every time I stupidly die or something comes out of nowhere and knocks me off a cliff. So, uh, yeah, we're not doing it that way. Video log? How did you tap into the video system? Well, I guess I'm uploading it, so... But, but still, how did you get it over there? Maybe Samus's helmet records everything and he's just jumping into the video files. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Not even at full power, huh? I've heard that before, Adam. And what did I do? I, I won the day. Bam. What do you know, you stupid computer? I still got you running on 3.1. That just reminds me of something stupid my phone did last night. I turned on my flashlight, and then all of a sudden the screen lights up and says, Screen recordings has been saved to your video. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. What did I just record with the flashlight on? What did you just record with the flashlight I, on? I don't know. I still haven't gone back to look at it. I don't know why it would... Oh. You're that's... gonna you're gonna find some extraterrestrial thing, aren't you? I, God, I hope not. Let's check. This is our latest... Uh, Roadblock. Hot, Fire. Hot stuff that we can't kill because it absorbs energy and turns hot into stuff. thermal energy. We gotta find something cold! But we can't do cold because we're fucking Metroids! Oh, it looks like my thumb grazed the, uh, the screen record button while I was going for the... My th thumbs are so ginormous. They hit everything on a huge iPhone screen. I'm not gonna look over because I'm afraid I'll fight a ball sack or something. No, no, it's my actual thumb. Oh. Are we sure it's a thumb and not, uh... Is this considered Hitchhiker's Thumb? Oh, yeah, I, I, I got a real bad one, too. It's like oh, yeah, that's, back. that's yeah. pretty good. We got we have thumbs that bend, like, straight back. <laughs> I've got a bad case of Gamer Thumb, Doctor. It can also call for cabs. Uh, 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 okay, and there's a mistake. I saw you getting hurt. That's okay, that's okay. It's all right. It's okay. That's it. okay, now it's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. It's bad times. Samus, stop getting hurt. This is a very logical thing to say to somebody who's getting hurt. Just stop. Duh. All right, popped into Gavaran, but now we gotta go back to Dairon. Going from Gavin to Darren. Let's head back. We went We went from, what, uh, B to D, all the way to G, and then we take G to D and... Quick, Samus, uh, go, go to area B, then E, then D. <laughs> I will lead Samus from area D to area E. To area A. To area F. Um, what? 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 Huh? Hello? <laughs> that's, I, that's okay, because Samus communicates by sonar. I, <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs> stop, stop, stop that. Stop. stop that. Stop it right now. He gets on the intercom. Uh, please, stop. I beg of you. It looks like there's something over here. That's what it's looking like. Oh, nice IBJ you got there, UDJ. Oh yeah, it's it. Just playing this game is so smooth. I can do all the hard tricks in this game. Absolutely every single one. Like that one. Or like the melee counter, or like wall jumping. Remember how difficult it used to be? Now you just kind of hang over and boink. That's I don't it. know. I always considered the wall jumping to be really easy. Well, it's easy when you know how, when you know the trick. Well, I mean, but yeah. here there is no trick. It's just do. <laughs> it's just do. It's just do. <laughs> Wait, isn't this cold? I still can't. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah. There, there's a thing there, and I'll, there's also a shooty thing. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot. Ah, the missile pack's cold! Ah! Can't you shoot the thing in there? Well, yeah, but it's, it's well, cold. Well, I mean, yeah, it's still more it's cold. It's cold, man. But that'll open up a place for later. But it's cold, man. I, well, it's cold now. Uh, I'm sorry. It. <laughs> All right, no way through there. Uh, so was this really just a tease on the next place you need to go? It can't be it, I mean... Yeah, there, it seems like there is something here. There's gotta be! Missiles? No. What?! Did they want you to come back here with the cold suit? There's gotta be something over at G we're missing, then. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, go, go back to... Back to G. Back to Gavarin. There, maybe? No, that's a super no, missile thing. That's super missiles. Oh, right there. Power beam. Can we go through there? Oh, we came through here. I didn't go through. And there. didn't go through there. Okay. All we'll right. run back and get the thing. Let's real quick. go. Let's go. Let's get more about Castlevania. What do you say? <laughs>
Uh, yeah, Castlevania with safe, safe states. Safe states is great. So let me talk about another game I play. You know, of course I'm like desperate to look for any fucking Castlevania. It's like, and I, I even looked up for the PS2 ones. Lament, <laughs> Lament of Innocence. Oh yeah. Oh, isn't that such a great subtitle? Lament of Innocence. You know, Harmony of Dissonance. I'm just, oh, think, I'm just thinking if you take if you take the initials of everything after that colon Castlevania, that you can come up with some weird ones. Like I I know the DS ones also do this. Sauton. You know, for Sunday night. We, or, and, Order of Ecclesia is oi! Oi! And then we got Poor and Doss. <laughs> <laughs> Poor was my first Castlevania, and it's great. Uh, for those who don't know, it's Portrait of Ruin. What happened? Why did it get so anime all of a sudden? Uh... Like, like Dawn of Sorrow is a direct sequel to Aria of Sorrow. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> ow, ow, ow. Hot. A lot of hot. V very hot. Very, uh, very can't move either. I don't know, just a like new. It, it went new from choice? this. It, it went from this utterly beautiful kind of gothic style in our in Aria of Sorrow, and then all of a sudden it just didn't. It it just went straight to anime, like TV anime from 2005. I'm okay with it. I'm not. I just <laughs> wonder if I I doubt there this was go. the the reason, but uh, how many artists still know how to draw gothic? The one that they could have still hired! <laughs> the one who did the art for Order of Ecclesia! That is very gothic, but also anime-ish. Anime-ish. Do you want to know why? Because Soma Cruz is, is, a, is a high school student from Tokyo, so they gotta modernize it. That's it's actually a, really funny. The gothic style about that. doesn't match. <laughs> we got super missiles, it's, it's just like the old games, or it's just, you know... Well, now all of your missiles are super now. missiles, right? Yeah, they were always super to begin with because I trusted each and every one of them. We believe in them now. <laughs> That's what makes them super. Every time you shoot a missile, it has a little cape. <laughs> <laughs> Go, right. super missile away! We can get up there. Uh, there's one more area That's we can go to, a little bit to the left. That's the next place to go to, basically, I'd say, so come... Okay. So okay. should we head back to the other place, or was that just a tease? We gotta go all the way back around again, I think we do. Alright, well, let's go on into adventure here uh, in, uh... Adventure here, here, here in Gavin. Let's go. Gavaran. Galavant. Galavant. Love that show. That's a show? Oh, Galavant? Oh, yes. It's one of the funniest shows. What's it on? It, it's it's like long off the air. They only did two seasons. Oh, okay. A, da a goddamn tragedy. <laughs> you know, any show that has Weird Al's uh, singing cameo is always a good thing. But it's basically uh, a musical comedy sitcom. It's 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 Ooh. brilliant. Oh, okay. So this just recently got announced, but Weird Al is making a a biopic about yes. his life. Yes. Have you seen the makeup on Daniel Radcliffe? I, all I know is that he was Daniel. Uh, uh, Daniel Radcliffe was Weird Al. That's it. Looks that's all I know. So, I mean, jarring. I, I mean, in the movie, not in real life, you know. So, well, yeah, you know, Daniel Radcliffe's yeah, not gonna try yeah, to be Weird get Al. Get away from me with your hot! Good. Let me see if I can find a picture because it is so interesting. Because he actually does look like a younger Weird Al, but also not really. <laughs> It's hard to explain. Have you seen that uh, test footage for that Robin Williams biopic? Wasn't that just a... Didn't somebody just come up with that one day? Like, it wasn't official? Yeah, it was, it, it was yeah, just it was, a it official, but it was, it was basically, you know, hey, check out this guy. He he does a creepily good Robin Williams impersonation. And he did. Maybe if you wanted to ever do a biopic, Studios of the World, well, hey, now, here's the guy you hire. Hey, here's the guy. All right, so we're not going to Dairon. No, that was a lie. We're going over to this, uh... Oh. El... Elun. 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 Hmm. Oh, crap. Maybe that was just a... Photoshop. But, uh... It's you not... got... You, you got bought in by the hype! Yeah, I got got. <laughs> but just imagine, uh, this old image of Weird Al here on the right. Imagine all of those features <laughs> on Daniel Radcliffe's face. It was it was very jarring. So yeah, I got got my clickbait. Damn it. Uh, it was bound to happen one of these days. <laughs> you fucking muggle. 
<laughs> I don't know shit about Harry Potter. I don't like Harry Potter. Well, Mungle goes along with the idea that it's it's slang. You it's know, basically calling a person a mug. You know, I never liked Harry Potter. Why? I tried to read one of the books. I thought Harry Potter was a fucking dweeb. I, ha I hated him. because he was. <laughs> yeah, I hated, I hated him because he was a dweeb and he, and he was like boring and unlikable. And Ooh, my favorite him. scene! Like legit, this is my favorite scene in the whole game. Really? Yes. This scene, just approaching this weird, imposing well, looking thing. Let it play out. Here goes out. Yeah, we found a life form. Let's open up the door and welcome them wholeheartedly. Oh, no. Come on in. When you're here, you're family. Uh, you may have just been locked in here for good, Samus. Except... Uh, 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 uh. We never said we were friendly. All right. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, that right there, when you hear the scan complete, you're going, oh, thank God. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, that's a good uh, setup and payoff. I almost shit my pants, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me out, please. I don't want to be here. It's scary. Ah! <laughs> Let's go. Quit being such a baby. Get in there. Good. Good. Oh. Oh, I gotta have something else here, huh? All right, fine. Then I'll just blast my way in. I'll find another thing to blow up and gain entry. <laughs> yeah, actually, why didn't that work? Is it just story progression? Like, they want you to go see, in the so basement? the last thing was a Super Metro. We need a different kind of beam for that one. You see how it's all electricity and all that? Oh, I do kind of see that. Yes. I guess I mistook it for the, the green barrier that the Super Missiles have. I think you were supposed to, and I think you were uh... supposed to have the level of confusion that we just had. Like, uh, Oh! What? What? what is I'm still right? trying to get over the scan complete scare. <laughs> I'm still trying to get over the fact that <laughs> Samus is back in an all-new 2D Metroid game! Next year you're gonna tell me Samus is a girl, and I'm just gonna flip my monocle. Hang it's on. just gonna be nuts. Hang on. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you just... Like, are you fucking with me? And people are gonna blow their load when they find out this is just Metroid 5. Oh, yeah. That's not good! Oh, God, no! That's I'm... very bad! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Alright, kill the thing. Alright, infected X guy. Ow. Ow. Kill the disgusting X. It's not really a boss, but they're just, you know, really... Yeah, they're, they're reintroducing you to the X. And uh, this is actually a really good decision. For one, just in case you didn't play Fusion. And two, uh, these this game just ramped up in difficulty. Yep. So they're telling you how to deal with it right now. This is basically the HD Fusion that Mercury Steam always wanted to make. And I'm glad they got to do it. And it actually still makes sense within the confines of the plot. Yeah, because this is essentially where they stored all of the infected folks with the X parasites. They yeah, they didn't really destroy them. They just kind of locked them in here and let them just be. I don't even think that they can really, you know, survive off of starvation. I don't, I don't think they can starve. I think they just they just live and are. Until, I mean, until I mean we like... kind of already established that the X parasite could never like die out. Not really. I mean, if they've been in here for a while. They need to be legitimately destroyed. And that's kind of hard to do when the thing just doesn't die of starvation. It just waits. Ooh, new toy. I like new toys. It's gonna be a new beam. Get the new toy. Hey, 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 it's turns a it, turns plasma out. beam. I would love it if hey, it was, hey, hey. was just like, hey, here's a missile pack. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do we get out? I gotta say that Metroid Fusion still has my favorite, like, beam effect, you know, just, you know, mm -hmm. nice and fast, but... I gotta say the beams <gasps> in Metroid Dread are still pretty fucking nice! That's yeah. lovely! Oh, that's lovely! <laughs> still a triple shot, too, which uh, is great. Oh, yeah. Actually, I wonder if I can... Does it have beam stacking? Okay, I can't... Oh, I, yeah, you I, can't, I, I can't, you can't get rid of them. Off. Yeah, so they all stack. I think Nintendo was like, no, just, just, just Don't make, just do make it do the normal. thing you were able to do in Super Metroid. It's just dumb. We're getting rid of it. So, as you said, Ow. the difficulty ramps up. So does my attack power, because now I can destroy mechanical things with, you know, the utmost of ease. Even though you can attack things better, 
Uh, things still hurt a lot. Until I get another suit, and then things don't hurt as much. But they but still hurt a lot. It's still hard mode, I keep forgetting. We're on it, hard mode. It still hurts a lot. It still hurts, I understand that. Uh, that <laughs> fuck. <laughs> get out of here uh, it's still oh, here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh. Oh, wait. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He healed me, thank you, little guy. So I kind of like that the X still think they're a match against you. They're the ones that didn't get the memo from Metroid Fusion saying that this lady can absorb them. Uh, no, they're all one mind. So, not only do they know me, they want revenge. <laughs> but they're still trying to attack you, and they know that doesn't work! Well, you know, it's, it's all for the high mind. Like, like, there's no self-preservation, there's just ATTACK FOR THE GOOD OF THE HIGH MIND! Hopefully at one- Oh, god. Yeah, fuck Hopefully I at one point things. they start to realize, it's like, hey, maybe we shouldn't just dive right in. OH, oh NO! Oh. Hit you with the wall shock! I hate, I hate those things, they suck! Yeah. Ugh. You don't attack me. I'm just a lady trying to get by here. I'm gonna harm you. Have you seen my baby? <laughs> <laughs> he, he was just here, the poor thing. Oh, damn it! How do you? Okay, there we go. Sorry, it's been a hot minute. Ow! Oop. It's been a hot minute since I played Metroid Dread. Hey, how do you think I feel? I've been playing Castlevania. It's like, oh, I can actually. Why can't I whip things? Oh, oh, oh my god! I can actually jump like a normal person now. <laughs> Instead of, you know, slightly forward. Oh, oh, wow, I have range. Oh, wow, this is a good game. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> now, that's what kind of killed me about playing uh, Super Castlevania 4 is if, if I want to jump good, I got to, like, lunge forward and it's and it's all bad. Hey, let me get about another bad Castlevania game. You ever played a game called uh, Castlevania Harmony of Despair? Harmony of Despair, no. All right. Well, imagine if the, you take cact if if you take Dracula's castle, and you like shrink it down to it's basically the size of like a level. Mm -hmm. you, you can clear the whole thing in like about 15, 20 minutes. And it's it's all got there, there are little rooms. It's all that, and except it's all on one screen. Okay. And the entire thing is zoomed way, way, way out. That's to make it like a four-player co-op type game. Oh. I don't think I like that. No, it... I gotta, I gotta squint to see my character. It's like, where's Alucard? Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. D like, down here at the little bottom of the corner. Oh, boy. So when we mention that the X has infected everything, that includes old Chozo warriors. Yeah. Oh, shit. They basically, uh... Oh, look, look at all that carnage back there. Bad things happen. Oh, this, in, this environment tells a story. A story about how the X infected these uh, Koza Warriors that were probably gonna fight you in another timeline Metroid game where the X didn't infect them all and they all turn against one another. Maybe they would have been the Prime Four, uh, you know, antagonists. But nope, everybody got infected with the X parasite and they all turned crazy and they all started killing one another. Uh, light speed. Oh, there we go. And the ones that are left, well, here they are. Infected by X, so are they really here? Mm hmm. Oh, no, they're infected by X, alright. <laughs> cool! And now their attack has kind of grown and they've got a new special uh, kind of move as well. Yeah, I don't like that move. That move sucks. No, dear. No, we almost got it, though. I don't want to kill all the bosses here. You got it, man. Oop. Uh. Get flash shift. Yeah, I I did forget uh. about it. Uh. Oh no! Ah! Got hit by the gunk. Uh, Got gunked. This isn't even the hard version of this boss. I know. It it takes me like three or four tries to understand how a boss works, and even though I managed to beat one of these SOPs. In one go. Uh, I still forget the attack patterns, and also it still doesn't help that I forgot all the buttons. Uh -huh. Thankfully, it has, like, really easy telegraph patterns. It's the second phase that gets me. Like, this first one is nothing. Afterwards... See, when you learn the, the moves, it's really not that hard. Yeah, see? Well, we're already on phase two. Especially if you find enough missiles, you can just, you know, fire missiles to last the entire the, the entire run of the fight. Yeah, it's this one right here. That's mean. 
He's got to know that he leaves a splash whenever he does that. Mm -hmm. You could say it's <coughs> splash damage. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. I think it's a very friendly attack because, look, there's a couple waves. <laughs> It'd be great at sporting events. <laughs> it's actually his friendship attack. <laughs> I want to be friends! <laughs> And yet it just sounds like, you know, garbled water, like, choking. Oh, here we go. Eh. That's that. two melee counters! And, and fire. fuck off! Yeah! And collect? That's how you kill that boss without getting hit. Oh yeah, you did do that. Painless. Good job! Yeah, I don't think we can get this yet. I don't think, I don't th I don't think they're being nice to us yet. Let's see. Let's see, how nice are they being? Can we being nice? indeed... Well... Oh. Not being nice. Alright, so from underneath that... Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Oh. Hey, hey, they are nice! Hey, being Look nice. at how nice these boys are! It's so, it's so good, oh yes. And something I just realized. Nice. Very nice. Now, where do we go from here? Up. Well, let's try up. Anywhere but I up. Think, I don't think that's... Don't think this is the right way, but it doesn't hurt to explore a little bit. Actually, this is looking pretty correct because we're filling out the map. Yeah, and if I remember, this section is is pretty much a one and done kind of kind of section. Wrong way. What? Oh. I mean, unless. No, it's wrong way. Okay. Do, 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 Wait, do, where are you going? Do, do, I'm going back the other way. Why? Because there's a place we can come down here and keep going. Ah. Uh... But this is on the way back. But here's a cutscene, therefore we're supposed to be here! Alright, alright. Oh. Well... Yeah, no shit. Ah. Some dumb fuck shit. fucking opened the door. I don't know who, but somebody left the door open. <laughs> and now... The X have immediately infected the entire planet! Cool. The whole planet of ZDR is now infested with the X parasite. They are everywhere. Nag! Oh no! Yeah, so it's not just this one particular segment. It is now the entire game has been infected with X. Oh, watch out for those Emmy zones. Okay, well now the whole planet is an X zone. Cool. Oh. I kind of like that. Also, I love the the thought that. Um, Samus was like, who opened the door? She starts pointing fingers and eventually one lands back on herself. <laughs> and it just gets absorbed into her finger. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess we'll deal with all that mess next time on Metroid Dread. Oh, that's why it's Dread. I get uh, it now. Because well, the X were the biggest threat the entire time. You know, I'm glad that these things are uh, kept on the planet by atmospheric pressure. You know, I don't think they're strong enough to, you know, break through that. That would be bad. If, I, I mean, unless they become something that can break the atmosphere. Or they get infected on a planet that doesn't have an atmosphere. Hmm. Are there free-floating X in space? Uh... Food for thought.